Chest pain is one of the most common reasons that people speak to a doctor. There are many causes of chest pain. Sometimes it's not serious, but other times urgent medical treatment is needed. If you ever have chest pain or discomfort in your chest that feels like pressure or being squeezed or a burning sensation, you should seek medical assessment immediately. Yes, you could. If you're experiencing pain, pressure, tightness, or discomfort in the chest, shoulders, arms, neck, back, upper abdomen, or jaw, you might need tests for heart disease. Or if you experience shortness of breath or tiredness, any of these should prompt you to seek medical attention. Some other symptoms that could accompany chest discomfort include palpitations or racing or pounding of your heart, feeling lightheaded, feeling or being sick, excessive sweating, or feeling faint. According to the recently published guideline document on chest pain, chest pain means more than just pain in the chest. Any pain in your chest that lasts longer than a minute should be evaluated further, especially if you're having other symptoms like nausea, vomiting, shortness of breath. You can also feel pain in other areas such as your jaw or in one or both arms. Your doctor will ask you some questions about your health. They may examine you and will likely order some tests. One of the tests that may be ordered is a scan of your heart called a Cardiac Computed Tomography Angiogram, or CCTA for short. CCTA is a quick, non-invasive test that uses x-rays that make a 3D picture of your heart and its blood vessels. It uses a specialized CT scanner so that the pictures are timed to the movement of your heart. CCTA allows your doctor to see whether or not plaque has developed in your blood vessels of your heart, called the coronary arteries. Plaque is made up of fat, like cholesterol, that builds up over time. This buildup can cause a narrowing or a blockage of the heart blood vessels, and that could be the reason for your symptoms or could increase your risk of having a heart attack in the future. CCTA is generally considered the best test for people with chest pain who have no previous history of heart disease or to clarify findings from another test. While some tests look at how the heart is functioning, CCTA looks directly at the heart and its blood vessels. CCTA will show whether or not you have plaque in the blood vessels that supply your heart, what the plaque looks like, and if the plaque is causing narrowing of your blood vessels, which could explain your symptoms. Research studies have shown that the amount of plaque someone has is a good predictor of the risk of having a heart attack in the future. CCTA also has other benefits. It is non-invasive and it costs less than other tests. Research studies have also shown that people who get a CCTA have a lower chance of having a heart attack or fatal cardiac incident by allowing your doctor to recommend preventative strategies. While CCTA is used for people with no previous cardiac issues, in some cases, CCTA may be useful for patients who have previously had a heart attack, had a stent put in, or had bypass surgery. Before you have a CCTA, you may be asked to take a beta blocker medication to lower your heart rate, or a nitroglycerin medication to dilate the heart blood vessels so they can be seen clearly. You may also be asked to avoid caffeinated drinks or food, or to stop taking certain medications, or to take a blood test to test things like your kidney function. You will be asked to lie on your back on the scanner bed. While you may be lying down for 10 to 30 minutes, most of this time will be preparation for the scan, as the actual scan only lasts a few seconds to do. During the preparation for the scan, a technologist or nurse will apply sticky patches called electrodes on your chest to monitor your heartbeat during the examination. For some scans, you may also have an IV placed in your arm to deliver a contrast dye. This dye is used to help get clearer pictures of the heart blood vessels. The dye may cause you to have a warm feeling all over your body, which is normal. During the scan, you will be asked to hold your breath for short periods of time while the pictures are being taken. It is really important to be absolutely still and not to breathe or move or swallow during the scan. Movement may cause the images to be blurry and the scan may need to be repeated. 
CCTA can help a doctor decide whether your heart is the reason for your chest pain or shortness of breath. It can show if you have plaque buildup in your heart blood vessels, and if this is causing significant narrowing, which could explain your symptoms. If you have had some plaque buildup known from before, it can show if it has progressed or worsened. If you have had bypass surgery before, CCTA can show your doctor how well your bypass grafts are working. It also has an important advantage over other tests as it can show early plaque buildup that may lead to a heart attack. This allows your doctor to give you options to help prevent future heart issues such as medication or preventive therapies or lifestyle changes. The risks of CCTA are low, but there are some cases where caution may be needed, such as if a patient has impaired kidney function, is pregnant, or is taking a medication that would change the outcome of the scan. If you have an allergy to contrast dye, you may need preparation before the test in order to decrease your risk of a reaction. Yes, if you're experiencing chest pain or have a family history of heart disease, you should visit your doctor for an evaluation. Your doctor can estimate your potential risk for future heart issues, and if CCTA is a good fit for you, they will order a scan. If you have further questions, visit scct.org.